Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I got a link in my email from Grafted In Team Jesus. They must have put this up today. Um, it is a message that was given to Pollux, Pollux, P O L L O X, from the Lord. It's an, it's titled. Let's see. It was called oh, seventeen hours ago. Okay. Revelation chapter 18, part 2. The East Coast of America. This is the second prophecy in less than an hour that I'm reviewing. I will share this one. The other one was from 2013 and, and in the same video. Dreams from 2013 and a message in 2014 was given to someone who was also told when Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama were running neck and neck, for the Democrat nominee for President of the United States. This is before the actual presidential election now. They were running against each other to get to be the nominee for the Democratic Party. She was told that Barack Obama would be a fork-tongued devil and he would be the next President of the United States. Anyway, that is on off-grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian, if you're interested. I'm read, I'm going to read this to you. There's a picture here. Let me just take a picture of this picture. And we'll use it. And you can uh, study it if you want. It's showing all the parts that will be underwater after the tsunami hits. I've seen worse. Okay, got our picture. Here's the message. On here it says, 50 meter tsunami. I don't know what that is compared to yards. 50 meters, is that like 150 feet? I don't know. You can, do the, you can do a conversion. I'm sure you can pull up a conversion calculator for meters. 50 meters, how many feet is 50 meters? Tsunami after Canary Island volcano eruption and landslide puts this underwater and it's got arrows pointing across New York, puts New York City underwater, Con uh, Connecticut, Virginia, that area in New England on down. It's showing part of each state, all of Florida. The southern part of Alabama, Mississippi, it's going to be pushed up the Mississippi River. If that doesn't set the New Madrid Fault off, then, then it won't completely devastate the internal uh, country, but it could. I've heard it say that it could do that. But anyway, that's just hearsay. I can't prove it. I don't have a video to link. Okay. Now, they, this was dated October 26th. Scriptural reference. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. Hebrews 3.15. All right, here's the message. To all those on the east coast of America that I call to leave, exit the cities and coastline now for the Alligator Trail or the Appalachian Trail, as it is also called. This your ancient forefathers traversed and the natives before them for centuries. The countdown is on. I am has given the same message regarding New York City and the east coast line of Babylon, America to many of my prophets. At this time, heed the call. What are you waiting for? Another check for the holidays? Wake up. Listen to my voice and answer my call for the clock ticks down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one exclamation mark. The time is now, not tomorrow. 
for you are all under attack from the stress and pressure of the moment, from the demons and the spiritual war in the heavens that is descending closer to earth each day. When it lands, there will be fire, water, great earthquakes, and volcanoes never before seen released. The end. Note. The Lord first showed me the destruction of New York City in 1993 when I was there on a trip. Please pray for all those who will be lost in this divine judgment. I saw the flames and I was in total shock and totally overwhelmed. Pray, pray, pray. Take this to the Lord as you do any other prophecy message for confirmation. It confirms a whole lot of other prophecy messages. So, you know, it's kind of, it is kind of confirmation of what others received. But still, you want to know if you need to flee or not, maybe. Do you need to tell your sister, your brother, your mother, somebody that they need to flee? You better pray and pray hard and pray fast, okay? Call them up and tell them if they don't know already. I don't know if people are afraid to tell their people or they have been. I've been telling my family. I mean, what if they had ran when I first mentioned it, when it first went off? It's been going on 39 days now. It was 38 days yesterday. Now it's 39 days. Tomorrow is day 40. And you know how huge number 40 is in the Bible? Huge. 40 days. Jesus was uh, in the desert, tempted to the devil, and fasted and prayed. 40 years, the Hebrews wandered in the desert because they disobeyed and didn't believe they could take the giants in um, the promised land. So they had to go back and go around in circles for 40 years. And 40 is just all over. Anyway, I'm going to end this here and say, um, maybe soon, brothers and sisters, we'll get to meet very, very soon. And we'll get our glorified bodies and then we'll get to come back. And help those who are still helpable. I can't wait for that. I want to bring people back from the dead. That Jesus says it's okay to. Feed them. Feed multitudes with a little. Clothe the ones without very much clothes. Because they got all washed away or whatever. And bring people to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And they will listen to us. They will listen to us. All right. With that, I'll say bye for now. Talk to you later.